The Hemp Center has made great progress. We were really fortunate to have the support we had to begin with from the College of Agricultural Sciences. We've been able to expand our partnerships uh, outward with industry, but probably most importantly is that we've been able to have more and more faculty here at OSU engaged in our research. Since we were launched last year, we've been able to establish our 12 industry sector research consortia that are led by uh, faculty. And so we're not just about agricultural production and the growing of hemp and how to best raise hemp, but actually looking at the downstream aspects. With the downturn in the hemp economy because of uh, a lot of overproduction this last year, because of that mix with COVID, everything has been slowed down. But we've taken a look at that and used that as an opportunity now to say, let's get the science ahead of the market. So that growers here in Oregon, processors in Oregon, people that are marketing in hemp, can start looking at real science-based information to help them in their decision making. But we're so lucky here in Oregon because we have excellent research and extension centers around the state, the network that actually uh, last year began to get familiarized with growing hemp. So even though we've been slowed down and the market has slowed down, our research has been able to speed up so that we can get our science ahead of the market, which will do nothing but help to stabilize and help the hemp industry to be more sustainable in the long run. We've had uh, wonderful donations of seed uh, from private companies who are engaged with us, uh, who want to see how their materials perform around not only Oregon, but around the country. And so by working with them in partnership, we're able to take a look how can we grow hemp in a more intensive fashion, but with lower inputs. In other words, without plastic sheeting, uh, using mechanical cultivation, testing out different types of technology for determining when to irrigate uh, through drip lines, how to fertilize the crop. We have excellent other land grant partners around the country. One of the biggest accomplishments this year was to begin uh, to develop a nationwide network of testing sites for looking at essential oil hemp varieties. We have 16 different land grant institutions that are engaged in this. One of the great challenges that the industry has right now, uh, particularly with essential oil varieties, is making sure that they're in compliance with federal law for the amount of uh, Delta 9 THC that's in those varieties uh, at a very low limit. And because of our partnership with ARS, we're able to have that. Because hemp has not been a commodity until just uh, recently, it was necessary to assure producers who grow hemp that the seeds that they're planting are assured as to the type of variety and the quality of the seed and help to actually set up the rules for certifying uh, hemp seed here in Oregon. And so that just again helps our Oregon producers, our seed companies, be able to extend their markets to not only Oregon, but to the rest of the United States and actually overseas as well. So there's an entire supply chain approach that has to be taken to ensure that the new hemp industry as it emerges will be successful. And so therefore, what we've done is that we have set up a certificate program that's been approved. We are now developing the coursework for that. There'll be live offerings of the courses here on campus, but then also we'll be working through our e-campus to deliver these courses you know, nationwide and even, and even wider. So what the Global Hemp Innovation Center did is established our hemp equity program within the center. And what that means is that we want to provide extra opportunities for uh, people of color, the black, indigenous, the Hispanic uh, communities that are in Oregon and more broadly in the United States to actually have a way of knowing how can they best connect to be able to participate in this emerging industry of hemp. We're also working with like-minded institutions such as Alabama A&M, which is a historically black uh, university and college, a uh, part of that network in Alabama, as well as a Hispanic serving institution, Colorado State University Pueblo. Uh, and by working together, we look for opportunities to not only connect our faculty and to reach our respective uh, communities of stakeholders, but then also looking at ways for our students to be engaged in this. 
And all of that is to help us then try to figure out here in Oregon, how is the best way to incorporate hemp into the existing Oregon agriculture?